And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Weather from where you live. A little bit of a chilly morning out there, but clear. Not a bad start to the day at all. 23 degrees as we speak. Winds out of the east around zero miles per hour. So far this morning, a wind gust of around five. Winds will be getting up to around 15 later in the day today, but a high pressure system really keeping things clear throughout the morning and really well, well into the afternoon as well. We could see a few light clouds move on in during the afternoon hours, but this high pressure system should keep most of these clouds at bay throughout the majority of the day today. One more beautiful day out there this afternoon. Highs reaching the mid 40s. We will be warming up throughout the rest of the week. We're looking at the mid to low 50s. However, rain is on the way as well. Three separate low pressure systems are on their way here over the next four days. Slight cool, slightly cooler weather this weekend with another cold front rolling on through. We're talking the mid 30s once again across the viewing area. Now throughout the day today, we are talking about sunny skies. Some light cloud cover could move in during the early afternoon, but nonetheless, we will be staying sunny. Check out the low pressure system that moves on in overnight tonight. Brings mainly a rain event. However, Futurecast shows a little more snow. Temperatures down at the surface will be around freezing or slightly below that, so we could be dealing with a rain and sleet mixture. I'm not really expecting much snow. Uh, most of that should stay mostly off to the north. Uh, northwest here over the next 24 hours. Now, mainly a morning event. We could see some light showers during the early afternoon hours. Things can begin to clear up at least a little bit for Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, but by Wednesday evening, another low begins to move on in for Thursday as well. We are talking scattered showers Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, and then by Thursday, another chance of rain once again. 28 degrees by 9 a.m. We'll see a temperature of around 39 by your lunch hour, mainly clear throughout the morning and early afternoon hours. By the afternoon, we are talking a high temperature of around 46 degrees. A few more light clouds are a possibility throughout the afternoon hours, but that rain moves on in overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Rain showers and with a wintry mix is a possibility. 31 degrees overnight tonight and into tomorrow. We are talking 51 for your high temperature on Tuesday. Even warmer temperatures are on their way. Winds out of the southwest maybe even gusting up to around 30 miles per hour at times. Maybe as high as 35 miles per hour by tomorrow afternoon and evening. 56, that'll be our high temperature on Thursday afternoon. Some areas could even see 60 degrees by Thursday afternoon. We do cool down once again. Friday back down to 40, 38 by Saturday, warming back up to the low 50s once again on Sunday before another cold front rolls on through Sunday afternoon and evening. But check out the temperatures really all this week. Well above average for this time of the year with the exception of uh, Saturday afternoon. But really, all that rain moving on through three separate low pressure systems, plenty of rain, maybe even a few thunderstorms on Thursday afternoon with uh, some convective activity in the air as well. Looks like my daffodils and tulips are starting to pop out of the ground again. Looks like that's probably going to continue this week. It looks like that could continue throughout yeah. the week, uh, this week and into next week as well. But once again, we are checking, uh, tracking some cooler temperatures after Sunday with that cold front rolling on through. It's going to be 50 on Sunday next week. Mm -hmm. However, cooler temperatures could filter in thereafter. This winter's not done with us mm -hmm. yet. All right, thanks, Cameron. Yep.